Hi, my name is Shannon and I'm here to talk about disability. I am a recipient of disability and I feel that there's a lot of things that are unfair and need to change. Um, the cost of living increases, um, bread, milk, rent, hydro, everything and yet there's no increase in disability. Disability is not for people that are lazy or just struggling with hard times in finding employment. It is for people that cannot reach employment or obtain employment because they are ill for either physically or mentally. Um, I feel it's frustrating that if you live with somebody or are married to somebody that um, your partner's earnings are taken right off your disability and that um, you have nothing to contribute where it, I mean, for me, I, ha I suffer from depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and I struggle with every day the fact that I want to work but can't hold it down and hold it together for my mental illness seems to always get in the way for me to be able to obtain and keep my employment wherever I am. And it's my contribution to my family to be able to be on disability. But yet, if I was to live with a partner that has a job, my contribution gets taken. Um, I don't think that that's fair. I don't think it's right. And it, it actually causes more um, low self-esteem and um, hardship and stress, which in turn causes depression. And I also don't think that it's fair that Things like telephone or internet aren't counted as a necessity um, when you have children or you are mentally ill or physically ill. I mean, how are you supposed to call 911 if something happens and it's an emergency? Or how are you supposed to cry out, call the crisis lines that are available that the government funds and deems as necessary, but yet you have no way of contacting these people because you can't afford a phone? because it's not given to you, like it's not deemed as a necessity. I uh, have been on and off antidepressants for 13 years and just this year I was prescribed a medication and for the very first time it actually worked, but it's not covered. And the medication strictly is for depression and anxiety and that's exactly why I'm on disability and the medication would cost me over $100 a month and disability wouldn't even agree to reimburse me for it even if I paid for it first to reimburse me. So I was forced to try again another another medication that uh, doesn't seem to be working. Um, I actually have quite a few friends that are on disability and social services that are running into a lot of that where their medications aren't covered. I have a few friends that are on disability and uh, are severe diabetics and that's the reason why they're on disability and they pay over three hundred dollars a month out of their income towards their necessities that they need for their disease. I just think there's a lot of things that need to be changed. I think human decency and um, needs to come back on the table and realize that we're people, we're not just a number or dollar figure, we're people that have needs and, and they need to be met. I mean, disability is there because obviously everybody knows that it's something that happens to people and they get in that situation, but yet it's almost like you treat it like it's a choice, like it's the same as um, social services where it's just a hard time you're going through. I don't want to be on disability the rest of my life, but I am using my time that I'm allowed to be on disability to better myself, so I won't need it one day. But with the cutbacks that have been made, like for medication, medications to not be covered, and living expense, like, I mean, you're causing a lot more illnesses by neglecting the people from their needs and necessities.